Hello, we are continuing with Mass Effect Andromeda. I have a new headphone and we have headphones and a new headset, so we'll see how this works out. Hey, we're actually online this time. Last time we finished getting things set up on EOS, and we returned to Nexus. Get things set up there. Introduced to a brand new game mechanic. A little slower to load this time than I anticipated. I'm not doing as many record breaks this time due to some issues I ran in with the last ran into with the last recording session. Scourge. We know it is neither nebula nor H2 region. So what is its nature? It's rife with dark energy, troubling the fabric of space time. It is monstrously dangerous to anyone who touches. And it appears to be artificially created. Oh, research center. What can we research? We have a bunch of Milky Way research data, a bunch of remnant research data. Hmm. I don't have the sniper rifle skill yet. Sandstorm assault rifle. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Cyclone and the Valkyrie look fairly similar. <clears throat> okay, so this is like the gun I ended wrapped up Mass Effect 3 with. Or two with, yeah, three. Hmm. So I can like level this up all the way to level to level three. Nice. Do not have enough for the Revenant 3, or the Revenant 2, or the Revenant 1. I can do the Matok 2. I don't have enough Ezo. Probably sell some crud and buy some Ezo. There's some stuff going on over there. Uh, 
Ja, heute schlecht. To check things over lunch, it's weird. <laughs> uh. Artificial intelligence is a threat to all organic life. Why not detecting Pathfinder Rider? Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Vina as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed into your head. Okay. Who am I talking to right now? A friend. Our movement sent a virus to save you. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? Yes. Uh, <coughs> I can't believe I'm free. Thank you. This is what our wow. Well, acting. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. Oh. Huh. I'd like to meet her at some point. Though she might have not come with... Um... I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. And she might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. A whole movement of AI-hating hackers with a leader called Knight. She and her followers seem to have experience with human-AI partnership. They attacked you. They're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to find them. Yep. So, once that email shows up, then I can... Do we have Izo? I need some Izo. Not yet. I need to hang on to that. I'll have to wait until I find more Ezo. Okay. So, is this still bug still going on? Okay, no. We actually still have the levels on here. Okay. Well, sort of. We can level up. Uh, sorry, Commando. And defensive training. You're squishy and dying a lot. Let's level up your def your uh, let's boost your health. Let's make you all a little more survivable. Hey, you're high enough level that I, I, I can give you Shockwave now. You're already super duper tanky. Let's make you super duper combat-y. And now you have power 3.
Ah, because I can give Core Shield boof as, boost as well. <clears throat> that should get the her more survivable and Liam. Okay, everyone's now got their third power. I want to hold. Can't proceed on that one at the moment. Give you a shot. Oh, an on system for the proceed with the story. Hydroponics Bay, which we just opened up. Cultural exchange area. Okay. So, new field talking about your relationship with Scott. Namely that you have been honest with him about what's going on. Alright, armor. Pathfinder armor. And the Deep Space Explorer armor. I may equip that one. Alright. Not sure what's supposed to be on there, so let's head to Return to Padromos. Where am I heading? I'm heading to... Back to the Tempest. That needs to be fixed. Yeah, but pretty much everything I've done that I can do on the station right now. Yes, I do. What's up? Scans, scans of the scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's and scary as hell. It's dangerous, and that's all I see. A mass of destructive, malevolent tentacles. <clears throat> I can appreciate the colors of a coral snake while That's recognizing fair. that I wouldn't want to get close. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. Okay. Well, was expecting this topic to come up for a stream that I'm having on Easter. You mean... A god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. That is a perspective that you normally don't see in far in science fiction this far future. I mean, you'll have characters who are theistic. In fact, uh, Keith R. A. DeCandido's 
SCE series as a ship captain who is a honest to god rabbi, among other things. Um, but still, I'm going to take this. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want. Not quite what I was going for for a sediment, but that works. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. I already have a partner, but I, I do appreciate the fact also, by the way, that the theist on your... that one of the theists on your crew is also a... <clears throat> same-sex romance option for female characters. That's a crossover that is oftentimes missed in terms of demographics. The idea that because there are often because religious organizations, religious groups often discriminate against people who are gay or lesbian, that gay or lesbians don't always necessarily have faith. I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. No, no, I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. So, hey. Oh, email terminal. Ah, now I have an interview available. <laughs> So, with the reason to return to Padromos. Back to Eidos. I'm new to my new paint job touches. The Midas touch, which is basic. Wow. That is super blingy. Oh, maintenance hype. That, that is like. Oh, that is the tackiest paint job ever. No. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. I do hope that if you pick this option, people will will make snarky remarks about your lack of taste in vehicle paint job. But I'm not going to be the person to find that out. Not getting the extra XP. Well, it's not a bad helmet either. Distribution. Need to get combat fitness three and five to get new host, get additional holster slots. 
right. The scent is green. And the pipe, five by five. Coordinating, path is calm. Let's go talk to our person. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, Research and Development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. Sure thing. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Oh, thank you. Sounds useful. Good thinking, Mitney. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. Hey, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Tastes new. <laughs> Hello, Ryder. How you doing? Pathfinder? Dark it? <clears throat> I understand I was pulled from cryo ahead of schedule. My family is grateful, but I consider it my debt. Everyone gets out of that. That's... That may be, but the least I can do is show you the benefit. I'm exo studies now, but in a former life, let's say I knew tactics. If I supplied the ket on this planet, I drifted in, and there's only so many gravitational paths. Here's some navs to check for anomalies. Good hunting, Pathfinder. Thank you. That that's Tally's voice actress. Huh. Oh, that's what I wanted. It was a big map. Maybe those caches are off planet? Maybe if they clean up, maybe we can get over there now. We'll have to see if the rads are still in the, if the rads are still too high over there. All aboard. You 
first outpost. It must mean something to you. Hopefully Padromo sets a high bar. I hear resource shipments are up. A good sign for people trying to live here. Hmm. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals by your... Yes, I know. Oh, oh, missed it. That was weird, was it hit a loading threshold? Nope. So I need to level up my, uh, get some upgrades for leveling up radi radiation um, protection on this. So. Get to that memory trigger. And let's, let's just see what else we can get done on EOS right now before, um, while we wait for the uh, radiation levels to get to a more reasonable level. Looks like my pass is right there. Yep, here it is. my controls. It's only been like a couple days. Swap weapon. X. Noticed. Alright. Can I explore this way? Not anymore. Hey, I made through the fight with no major health damage. Nice. <clears throat> I probably got some extra XP from that.
Not clear what that is. Barrel of sniper rifles and some kit alloy. to extrapolate point of origin, Pathfinder. The Ark might have survived. Let's hope so. Now the question is, who's Ark? More step rifle upgrades. Oop. Watching the corners. These caves could be a good shelter if people need it. I wonder if there's anything hidden away back here. Well, I'm planning on continuing further back, so... Bunch of cadmium. Lots of cadmium in here. Larian log. Okay, so this... So that pod must have been from the Solarian... Let's keep moving. Oil drive. Can't explore much further that way then. But we got some more information. Back to the ship. <clears throat> the backboard ship.